All right, it's that time again. Yeah, that seems more correct. another off-leash dog. Okay, we've got the puppy dog coming up to us. Okay, now it's following. Hi, babies. Oh, sweetums, hi. Hi, sweetums. You cold and wet? You want a treat? Look, yeah? Oh yeah, it fell, huh? Yeah, hi, babies. Oh. I gotta see if I can get his collar. He's so wet and scared, he looks. Hi. <laughs> no food, but you want the treats, huh? Okay, well you're really wet, so I need to get you on Facebook and next door. I don't think you need our dogs coming at you right now. No, they're too wily. Okay, I'm gonna go knock on doors around the neighborhood just in case. Uh, no one's answering their door. I have them posted on the local Humane Society, the Facebook group, and uh, next door. So, flyers. Well, I am done knocking on doors. I put up the flyers. The last house I tried, he answered the door and just said no, which why even answer the door? And then I said, oh no, 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 I have a dog that I found and showed him the picture and he said, we don't have no damn dogs. Okay, uh, no good deed, goes unpunished, but the dog will find his family if it kills me. <laughs> um, which it won't kill me, but some people can definitely hurt other people's feelings by being dicks. Hello, internet friends. I'm Michui and I'm on a weight loss journey. And this morning, I'm super duper busy. Found a dog, did not find the owners, met a neighborhood asshole. I will remember him. There will be no favors done for that man in the future. I am willing to admit I am bothered when people are rude to me when I am trying to be nice to them. Uh, so I have not been hitting my protein goals and I made a mistake yesterday. I ended up going over 100 calories on my count because I forgot to factor in the avocado oil. So yesterday's sweet potato tuna melts were actually 600 calories instead of 500. Still really good though. But I have not been hitting my protein goals. So this morning, all of this protein. There is 0.8 ounces of avocado, one large egg, 9.6 ounces of sweet potato, 3.3 ounces of shrimp, and one can of tuna. And then I am also going to do my smoothie that has one fourth scoop of chocolate protein powder and a tablespoon of peanut butter. So I am at 63 grams of protein today with my smoothie, my coffee, and this protein salad. I'm at 1,050 calories and I have 250 left to go. Now I'm gonna need some dressings for this and I haven't figured out what dressing to put with it because it's got egg, tuna, shrimp, sweet potatoes. I'm thinking Caesar, but I'm gonna taste some of these real quick and I'll let you know which one I decide on. Or maybe I'll do it on camera. Actually, I think I figured it out just by looking at them. Honey mustard yogurt dressing. That'll be 40 calories per two tablespoons. Let's taste it real quick and make sure. Yeah, that tastes good. Little tangy, little tangy. That'll bring me down to 200 calories. I'm also gonna throw like a little bit of lettuce in there. Potatoes are in the oven. Smoothie needs to be blended. Some lettuce needs to be chopped. I will get to all of that, show you the end result. But first, the plan for today. Plan's a little skewed. I am trying to find the owner to the dog. I went up on Facebook. The Humane Society's found a pet site next door and a couple flyers. Hopefully that will get her done because I don't want to have a dog go to the Humane Society, but we can't keep him here. We have a cat. So we will hold him until tomorrow. And if I still can't find the owner, then that might have to be the way it goes. So today's plan is to continue with my deep cleaning process. I need to go through my closet. 
I was gonna wait until I was officially 160 pounds, but it's looking a little rough in there, you guys. So that is what I'm going to do today. I have figured out how to put chapters on my videos, so I have been backlogging that. And if you're not interested in seeing the final results of my breakfast, go ahead and skip to the next chapter. But I am running really behind, so I'm gonna finish this up. And I will see you guys later. All right, got my smoothie? Always good. And I remembered that I was gonna try and eat more cucumbers, so I chopped up half a cucumber and put it in here. That is really good. My first bite, I didn't have any sweet potato in it, and I thought, hey, this needs like some breadcrumbs or something. Sweet potato makes it. Honestly, if you're not looking for all of that with the shrimp and the tuna, egg with sweet potatoes and a little bit of salad and cucumbers, all that, it's just a really good melody. So definitely would suggest it. I'm gonna go eat now. Baby's crying. Yes. Hi, babies. Hi. Yes, we are working on it. But we will hang out with you, huh? Think you want to hang out for a bit? I know. I'm sad, I know. Let's go sit on your little thingies, yeah? We have a dog kennel room where it would be a little bit warmer. He wasn't having it. And normally I wouldn't give a dog so many treats. But this has got to be a little stressful for him. So the treats make him happy. He doesn't want to come into the house even though I was going to... Give him a big comfy bed to lay on. Oh, sweetums, I know. You're just so sweet. I would friggin' keep you in a heartbeat, you know that. Yes, I would. Look at how friggin' precious you are. Your owners probably love you way too much. You got out and they're so sad. Once they realize, they're gonna be so sad. All right, babies. Be good. Be patient, we will get you home. All right, before we get to the closet, I'm gonna address it. Huge zit, huge, huge zit. Zits happen. The Band-Aid was not because I got hurt taking a dog off the street, it was a zit. And the Band-Aid fell off. Not a great place, and I don't have any more pimple patches, so it is what it is. Um, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do this, so I think the best way to do this is just jump right in. So this is what we're working with on my sweaters. I have been folding them, but then every time I grab one, a pile of them comes back down on me. And unfortunately, I don't think I'm actually gonna be getting rid of that many sweaters, but I do need to fold them and try and reorganize them. So I am gonna pull them all down, see if there's any that I don't like, but they are probably gonna be just how they are right now, folded, and then when I pull one down, they're gonna come crashing down on me again. But the main section I'm gonna be going after is this right here. This is all my dresses, skirts, I have gone through them in the past six months. I think I was 178 when I did that. So some of them may not fit. Most of them probably still do, but we will just start by pulling everything out. <laughs> Halloween stuff. Oh, and a broken hanger. So these are the only two pairs of heels I have anymore. And I don't wear heels anymore because of my leg. But look at how pretty they are. They're velvety purple. These are a little peep toe, but I've just been holding on to them because I like them. So they're gonna go to donation. The rest of this is my workout gear. I probably should go through it, damn it. Where am I throwing donations at? That's garbage, this will be donation. So this is all of my workout gear and I don't really need to go through it, but I will get rid of the stuff I don't like. I don't like these, I don't like those. These. So this is what I have to deal with. Over on this side are my sweaters and pants. This side is all my hung up stuff. Back there is a donation pile. And I guess in this corner right here is trash. Oh, I don't know where to start. I think I'm gonna start with stuff I know I mostly am gonna keep. Maybe it's the shirt. Okay, see now I don't hate them as much because now they're nice and fluffy there, tight top. And now I know I also want to keep this top. So that was a twofer. Okay, I don't hate these um, until I turned around. I don't like the back. I'm gonna say these are a no. Can you guys tell I fluctuated with my weight? 
These are pants from the last time I was at 170. They are getting there. And by the time summer rolls around, I'm hoping to have lost weight and there's this gapping in the back. I don't know if it was with a baggy sweater. See, now I think they're kind of perfect because they're just a little peep of a leg. And I have these socks that go here to here. Then you just get a little peep of a leg if I'm wearing this. And that would be perfect for spring. So I'm gonna keep these, I think. I probably didn't need to try these on. They're the same as the black, only in pink, because if you like something, buy two or buy three. These pants work. Yeah, the butt looks totally flat. So these are a giveaway. How does this even go on? Oh, okay. Love it. I feel like a bat. Keeping it. Keeping. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna make piles even though I'm throwing them. There's order in the chaos. I think you guys are gonna start to notice a common theme with things that like this little whoosh. I don't know what it's called, but I freaking love it. But uh, I get lots of compliments on this shirt and I love it. It's a keep and this will start a different pile. I'd say 10 more pounds and I can wear this comfortably. I'm not short, I'm penguin sized. This is one of my favorite shirts of all time. So hopefully it still looks good. I used to wear this all the time when I was 210. I love it even more now that it's not as tight as it was like right here. It was so tight. Yeah, I love it. It's a keep. This feels like a bag on me. I think this shirt is going to have to be worn open because it looks way too big clothes now, but I love it. It's a keep skirt. I wasn't able to do this top button for a while there. I mean, it's a shark shirt. Of course I'm keeping it. We might be in the skirts section. Now you might be asking yourselves, Michelle, how many of these shirts do you need? My answer to that is all of them. Tell me why I hate this. Gone. The second time I met Steven, I was wearing this. I had to push a bra on, but, but even if I can't wear it, it's staying for sentimental reasons. I hate it. I know I love this. We might be getting into the dresses section. Let me see. I really did mess up the organization of this pretty bad. Dress, dress, dress. I love it. I'm keeping it. I should wear this more often. Who doesn't love a poncho? It's a keep, keep, keep. This yellow is just too much of a dingy yellow. Ooh. This guy just falls off every time I wear it. It's supposed to stay, but by the end of the day, it's like this, so. No, 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 no. No, I like it too much. I almost fit back into this. A little too tight on the arms, but I do love this jacket. Just waiting to be able to fit back in it. Can I zip it now? Not really, no. Keeping though, it fits, but not comfortably. So probably another 15, 10 pounds. Oh yeah, I wear this all the time. This one is one of my favorite summer shirts. So simple. You wear like all black or all white and you put this on and people still compliment you. These are my summer coveralls. After kayaking, I slipped these on real quick. It's really nice and easy because you're basically wet and you don't want any tight clothes on you. This is just slip it on over your sports bra and you're good to go. I need a million more of these. We're about to get into the dresses. I have dresses from the sizes of when I was 125 because sometimes you hang on to the dress even though you can't fit into it, hoping you can. So this will be interesting. We're just gonna tuck all that down. We're not really gonna put this on all the way. Oh, it's supposed to go under the boobs. Okay, here we go. I don't feel gothic enough and I don't feel cute enough. So it's a no. I think I need to switch into a better bra and I hate bras. But if I wanna know if these are gonna fit right, I probably should do that. This may not work because you know what? They make bras to be the most uncomfortable thing in the world. This is digging in, it hurts. And it's digging in here and it's digging in here. Ugh, no, I hate this bra. Do you see this like, what is that? And then it goes, yeah, no. Can I donate bras? I think I can. Okay, this bra is a little bit more comfortable than the last. It also doesn't make me have like a square boob, I think. So this dress lets you cinch it up a little bit and I might have to do that for it to fit where I want it to fit. Yeah, I like it. It's gonna be a nice little summertime dress so I can wear it with a shawl. It's a keep. This thing is hanging on by less than a thread. This is going in the trash. I feel like this would be a Wednesday Adams dress if she was just feeling a little funky that day. I love it, I'm keeping it. Okay, so this dress I like to pair with long black boots, a nice little black hat and a black shawl. It just gives me very Halloween vibes and I'm here for it, so it's staying. I love how this dress has no shape. I just, I love it. It's staying. Like even the hands don't have any shape or form. I just love it. I hate this. 
I love it. I feel like a schoolgirl who shouldn't be going to school. Or more like the 90-year-old school marm. Okay, but who doesn't love a skater dress? This is giving me my teenage years right here. I hate it. I think this is like a one size fits all dress. So once I lose some chest area, I think I'm gonna like this a lot more. It goes all the way to the floor and has a terrain. It's very form fitting. I mean, yes, I do wish this was a little bit more gone, but it is a dress I only wear with shapewear. That's for sure. I love these pants. I love these pants. I think they're only gonna get better with the more weight I lose. It just kind of feels like the right length here and here. So it's a keep. I hate it. I hate it. So this I would usually wear with shorts that are shapewears. I go down to here and a black tank top. I love it. Oh, these fit perfectly. Did I ever get down to this size? I just don't like how the butt looks. I don't know. I'm gonna keep them for five more pounds and then see. Too loose now. I loved them because I could wear them up to when I was 210. Well, hello. These are ones I need to wear more often. I think when I bought these, these didn't even look that good on me. I'm really happy about these. They're a keep. It's not gonna stay where I need it to. Well, I could use a belt. I'm not going to though, so goodbye skirt. Last section are the vests. Keep. Now, I have never worn this vest because I bought it in hopes that I could fit into it at some point, which is never recommended. But now I have this vest and I can fit into it. So now I can see if I like it. And I do, I love it. Gotta start incorporating more vests into my outfits. This is an oldie but goodie. Who doesn't love a little uh, warm vest? Let's see if it goes past my boobs. <laughs> yeah, I need to be wearing this more. I feel like I should have a thermos and be walking with this. I love it. Yes, yes, yes. So with those black pants I tried on earlier, an actual bra and a nicer shirt, look all businessy. Or not, I can wear this with my leggings too. That's all of it. At least that's all of it that I'm willing to go through today. Cause now I have to put all of this away. Yay. So the last time I put all this stuff away, I went from winter to summer, dresses to shirts, but I need to do this thoughtfully this time. I need to put the clothes that I know I'm not gonna be wearing in the back. All my shawls and sweaters need to be at the front. So I'm gonna organize this in my head while I take a break and I will be right back. No wire hangers in this closet. I've been doing this wrong. Okay. Ta-da! And there she is, in order of most likely to wear. Plenty of room, I'll get to you guys later. So that took longer than I expected, and I am quite frankly wiped out. Mentally and physically, I'm just kinda done. My back and my leg are hurting a bit because when I was pulling Duke away, from the stray dog. He did not want to move. He kept twisting and turning us. And he's a big boy. I'm pretty positive that both dogs just wanted to say hi, but because the owner wasn't there, I had to make sure that my dog was safe. The dog is the sweetest dog ever, as you guys can see. Duke is a lovable dog. Duke goes to dog parks all the time, goes to doggy daycare. But I have to ensure the safety of my dog before anything else. So pulling him away when he obviously wanted to say hi was a struggle for me. I'm really lucky that the dog followed us and followed us from a little bit of a distance so that I was able to go back and get him real easily. But it was still mentally and physically draining to deal with this today, I think. It's three o'clock, I am not gonna work out. I'm still waiting to hear from anyone. I'm hoping by five, because that's when people start getting off work. I still have quite a bit of that food left over from this morning. I was very full, couldn't finish it, and I'm still feeling full. So I'm gonna do apple and maybe blueberries for the extra 200 calories, maybe just blueberries. I'm not gonna force myself to eat to the point of feeling sick to get in the calories. So we will see. Apparently my camera's about to die. So I'm gonna work on video editing, wait to hear from someone, and I will let you guys know how it goes. Well, it seems as though we don't own a new dog. I finished off my breakfast and had a cup of blueberries, and I have like 80 calories left, so I might do a second cup of blueberries. I really, really do like blueberries. But we got the dog home. So Steven and I decided that if no one claimed the dog by five, we would see if the dog would lead us to his home, and that's what he did. 
So I guess the dog got tired of us, wanted to go home, and it was enough for him to lead the way. But that's it guys. Really happy I could end another episode on a high note and I will see you tomorrow.